Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Dean Callan Show. Today, I'm going to be talking about using speed pourers to pour into a jigger. Now, what that means is we're going to be talking about these little guys. These are speed pourers. Um, the speed comes from being able to pick a bottle up out of the speed rail and quickly pour like this without it going all over the place. This speed pourer forces the liquid through this hole and out through that one. Air goes up through the little inlet and out through that tube. You need the air to be going into the bottle for it to flow freely through the speed pourer. Now, when you attach a speed pourer to a bottle, label faces out if you're in a bar. If you're at home, you can put it in whichever way you like. Make sure that the curved part going that way goes into the bottle to coincide with the hand that you use to pour. So if you're using your right hand, you want the bottle to be facing out that way and the pour to curve this way. I'll show you why in a moment. The second thing we've talked about already is a jigger. Now what a jigger is, is it's a system of measuring how much you're putting into a glass or into a cocktail shaker. This is two ounce, sorry, this is a two ounce and one ounce. So that's one ounce and that's two. And inside here, this one comes from Cocktail Kingdom, you've got loads of handy little lines that tell you exactly how much you've used. You've got a half ounce, three quarter ounce, and so on. Now, to use a jigger with a speed pourer, get your glass first. I personally put my jigger right next to my glass. There's a very short distance that I have to travel from the jigger into the glass when I'm dropping it in, and there's less likelihood of me spilling it all over the place. Now, to use the speed pourer, confidently grab the bottle, be confident about it, comes up, bring it up straight, and I like to point out around the glass and down. And what I've done there is I've filled this all the way up to the top, it's ready to be poured in, and I utilized the little air inlet to cut. Cutting means when you're up here, you're cutting the airflow. There's loads of different ways to pour and different ways to cut. For example, if I was to hold it like this, some people do that, I'd flick it up, I'd pour like so, and then I would cut like that across. I don't really like doing that because I've knocked loads of stuff over on the bar loads of times before. But that is the basics of how to pour using a speed jigger, speed pourer, and a jigger. Thank you for hanging out so long in that video. I know it took a long time, but there was a lot to be said. And we're done. I'm gonna cut the part where you're pouring his vodka down the drain. Oh! <laughs> oh, that was real vodka.